Hey guys, today we are talking about a university in Iceland with no tuition fee. This means that if you get admitted into this university, you can study for free. Now, just compare this to studying in USA, Canada or in the UK where the average tuition fee can be as high as $20,000 per year. In this video, I will give you the estimated cost of moving to Iceland through education. We are going to talk about the admission costs and even the visa costs. So make sure you watch this video right to the end. And for those who do not know, Iceland is part of the Sejan countries, meaning that you can travel to countries like Germany, France, Switzerland and even more without needing a visa. And so without any further delay, let's get right into the video. And before that, make sure you smash the like button and let's get it started. In this video, we are talking about University of Iceland. So you can see on this very page, the registration page, students at the University of Iceland do not pay tuition fees. Later in this video, I am going to take you through the estimated cost for applying for admission as well as visa but right now let's take a look at what is required for admission and let's take a look at the international student page so i'm going to come right here and click on international student and right on this page we can see the information about applying for admission the deadline so if you're applying for undergraduate or graduate studies you must apply before first of february each year and down here you can see the email address to make general inquiries about this university okay guys before we continue let me teach you how to assess this page what you need to do is just go over to google once you get to google type in university of iceland international students and search for this and that will take you to this search result just click on the very first one right here international students university of iceland and that will take you right to this page we are looking at currently so let's continue to explore the international students requirement so what you have to do um, if you have general inquiries you can send an email to this email address right here so you want to also explore the admission requirements for both undergraduate and graduate you can look at the page to explore that i will leave you to do that by yourself so we also want to look at the cost but first let's take a look at the language requirement so if you come to the language requirement you will see that uh, you can see right here on that language generally speaking programs at the university of iceland are taught in icelandic language so only a limited number of programs majorly postgraduate programs are offered entirely in english so you can check out the international programs page with this link right here to see the programs taught in english so you can also see several faculties that offer courses taught in english with this link so let me go to this one right here courses taught in english so if you go to that page you can see different courses that are taught in english so on, under different faculties for example education you can see the courses taught in english under engineering and natural sciences you can also see the courses taught in english so you can click on each of these courses to explore them and take a look at the course this contains both um, bachelor's and master's programs that are taught in english so you can take a look at them for different academic year right now we are back to the international students page and we are still exploring the language requirement so we've taken a look at the courses taught in english so now let's take a look at the proof of english proficiency requirement so i'm going to click on this link on this page you can see that you can prove your english with TOEFL, IATS, cambridge english you can also come down right here you can see specific requirement for international undergraduate programs right here you can take a look at them and you can also see for international graduate programs right here different faculties or different schools can have their minimum score for this particular test um, scores so you have to check this to make sure you meet the requirement for that particular faculty you are applying to and if you also come down here you can see other ways to meet english proficiency so let's take a look at that it says right here you can prove your english proficiency by the following criteria if you have completed at least one full year of full-time higher education taught in english 
at an accredited higher education institution in a majority English speaking country like UK, USA, Ireland, New Zealand, Australia, or Canada. So if you have completed your education in any of these countries, then you are exempted from submitting an English test proficiency. You are also exempted if you have completed an English bachelor's, that is BA or master's degree. So if you have completed English language or literature as a master's degree or as a bachelor's, you are also exempted. You are also exempted if you come from any of the following countries outside the EEA or EFTA. So you can see the countries right here and if your country is part of this, then you qualify to be exempted from English test proficiency. At this time, let's talk about the cost. Let's estimate the cost for applying for admission. So if you come over to applications, you can see right here that there is an application fee to apply for admission. Before we come to that uh, amount, let's take a look at the documents you need to apply for admission. You need your latest diploma or transcript in PDF together with a copy of the front page of your passport. And then you also need some documents like your statement of purpose, CV and references. You can apply for admission online. We're also going to look at the portal, but to apply to submit your application, you need the application fee of 8,000 Icelandic Krona. So 8,000 Icelandic Krona is equivalent to 58 US dollars. So that is the first cost, but that is not all. That is not all the cost that you're going to have to pay. So let's take a look at other costs in this university. So that will take us to the registration fee. So this university does not have tuition fee, but they have what they call annual registration fee. The annual registration fee for the University of Iceland is 75,000 Icelandic krona, and that is equivalent to 546 US dollars. However, if you are a new student, you are just going to pay 55,000 ISK, and that is equivalent to 400 us dollars so the estimated cost so far is 458 us dollars that is for the application fee as well as the um, annual registration fee for the new student in course of this video i'm going to show you what is needed for visa application assuming you have applied to this university and you are admitted then you need to apply for visa so i'm going to show you what is required of you very soon in this video right now let's take a look at applying for admission so if you come to the right hand side of this page you can see apply to study at ui you want to click on that and right on this page you can see all the information that you need to apply to this university everything is stated out right here so apply through the portal so there's a link right here which is the application portal that is where you are going to apply to through and all the information you need right here is on this page so i advise you read through the page before you start your application they have also uh, mentioned right here please note that applicants from outside europe region uh, must pay an application fee of 8000 isk uh, payment options will appear after you click on the send application button so once you are ready to apply you've gotten the course you want to apply to and everything you just have to click on this link for the application portal and it takes you to the application portal on the right hand side you can see where to log into the application portal so i believe you have to click on login with an email address so you can click on that and then you can log in if you already have an account but better still you have to create an account first so create an account and then you can log in and i believe the application portal will be self-explanatory you can upload your documents fill out the forms inside the application portal and submit your application right now let's talk about visa application for international students so guys if you've gotten any value so far make sure to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed why not hit on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification because this is the homeland of international opportunities if you have a dream to study abroad then we are on a mission to help you achieve that dream and all you have to do is to be a part hit on the subscribe button and we can take it from there so right now what you need to do to access this the visa information page still on this university web page is to come to the search button 
at the top. On the search bar, just type in student resident permit and hit on the search button. This will take you to the search result page. And right here, you just need to click on the very first um, search results. So we are doing this search within the website, within the university's website, not on Google. On this page, you can get all the information you need to know for visa application and this is for international students. So you can see right here, before arrival, upon arrival and during stay, all you need to know. So uh, for now, I believe we are concerned about before arrival. So you can see, submit a complete application for resident permit. It says students should apply for a resident permit immediately after receiving their acceptance letter from the University of Iceland. The application for resident permit and supporting documents must be submitted to the Directorate of Immigration. And there's a link right here for you to access the Directorate of Immigration. And there are deadlines as well. You can see for autumn semester, uh, which is um, starting September, between September to December, you must apply by 1st of June. And then for spring semester, which starts around January to May, you have to um, apply for your visa or your resident permit by 1st of November. All applicants need to have their photo taken for a permit card. It is necessary to book an appointment for the photo before arrival. So there's a link right here as well where you can book an appointment for your photo to be taken. This photo is necessary for your permit card. It is strongly recommended that students who need to undergo a medical examination make an appointment at a health clinic before arrival. So how do you apply? How do you submit your application? Right here, it says that student must pay the processing fee and mail the complete application and supporting documents directly to the Directorate of Immigration. So right here, you can see the documents you need, completed checklist, a receipt of the payment of the student permit application fee, application for resident permit, please write your email address on the application, passport size photo, copy of passport, copy of criminal record certificate, medical insurance, documentation confirming means of support. And this is another area you need to put into consideration. There's the minimum amount that you need to have in your account or in your bank statement for you to prove your means of support. And we're going to take a look at that just in a moment. You also need your confirmation of school um, admission, that is acceptance letter. And then the housing certificate should be submitted within two weeks of arrival. You can always get more information and also ask your question directly to the directorate. Um, through their website. So this, this is the link to the website. So students must follow the instructions at the Directorate of Immigration website. So you can go through the website and get more information and also ask questions directly to the Directorate if you are a little bit confused. Right now, let's take a look at the means of support. I'm going to click on the link right here. Let's see how much you need to have in your account. Once you come over to this page and you come down a little bit, you can see secure means of support for students. Applicants must demonstrate that they have secure means of support for the period they wish to reside in Iceland. To have secure means of support means that you are able to financially support yourself independently. And down here, you can see the minimum amount required as a secure means of support. So as you can see right here, 217 1799 isk for individuals per month and you can multiply this by 12 months for you to know the amount you need to have and you can also convert this to your currency to know how much that is and if you are coming with your family for married couples you need 348,476 isk and uh, that is per month as well and for any additional family member like if you have kids then you need to add like 108,000 um, ISK. So you can add this to the cost that we have looked at before. And in addition, you also need to pay for visa application fee, which is about $58. So you can convert this to your currency to know how much you need to put in to move to Iceland in 2024. So guys, that will be it for this video. Make sure to do more research if you are interested in moving to Iceland with this opportunity. Also do well to check out my YouTube channel 
for scholarship opportunities and study abroad opportunities all around the world.